Hi there, this video is to show you how to sign out and then sign back into OneNote using a different account. This is the process that you will need to follow if you have two people using the same iPad to use OneNote. Now normally you'll be able to sign out just by tapping on your name over here and pressing sign out, but there's a slightly different process if you are not going to sign back in with the same account. To do this, you're going to need to open up the settings menu. On the left hand side, scroll down until you find OneNote. Once you have pressed on that, you're going to need to scroll to the bottom and choose Reset OneNote. Don't worry, this will not delete any of your data. What you need to do is just make sure that this bottom one is turned on. This means that when you close OneNote, it will automatically sign you out and you can then sign in with a new account. To close OneNote, you're going to need to open the app switcher by either swiping up from the bottom of the screen or double tapping the home button. So I'm just going to swipe OneNote up to close it. Now I find my OneNote app again and it will have me at the very beginning. I'll need to enter in the email of the second account followed by the username and password and it will sign me in. Once I've signed in with the second account, I'll be able to open a new OneNote by pressing the Open in the App button from OneNote Online, or I'll be able to find it in my More Notebooks section if I have OneDrive installed. Now, over here on the left where you can see example classes highlighted, that's where the two notebooks will open. The first notebook from the first person will still be visible, but I won't be able to make or save any changes. If I need to go back to the first one, then I will need to follow the same process as before, where I double tap and swipe to close one note and open it up again. If it doesn't prompt you for your login details, just make sure you go back to the settings app and change that delete credentials section. You might need to turn it off and on it again. If you are having any trouble with this process, please contact the student support team at Nanda through the email which you will find in the tech support section. Thank you.